Hey folks, JD here, and today we've got this. This is the FQ777 FQ35, courtesy of Banggood. Thanks very much for sending me this. Right then, okay, what have we got in here? So, well, the box is a little bit munched from uh, it being delivered, but as long as everything inside is okay, then we should be alright. So, what have we got? We've got some manuals, we've got transmitter which we'll go into in a bit we've got a single battery by the look of it single battery yeah single battery we've got the quadcopter we've got some propeller guards uh, sorry um i always say propeller guards yeah they are propeller guards that's why uh and that's everything okay so let's just pop this box away and let's get stuck into what we have here so let's start off with the quadcopter well, I think anybody who has seen a Vizio quadcopter will know that this looks a lot like it. It has a similar shape, it is foldable arms, you've got LEDs on the bottom of these cones here on the landing sprigs, LEDs on the front, as well as a 720p HD camera here on the front as well, which is angle poise, you can move it from straight ahead to just looking down. Roughly about 50 degrees, you can alter that. When you pull out the arms, they just click into place, very simply. No ifs, no buts, just as simple as that. And this is the full quadcopter shape. Looks quite nice, it's quite large in fact. But one thing we've got to look at to begin with is let's start at the front and work our way around the quadcopter like we always do. So, as I mentioned earlier, we have two um, lights, LEDs here. We have a poseable camera. Then working our way towards the back, we have the on and off button. The plastic itself feels quite thin quite plasticky but at the same time I think it'll do the job just for flying directly to the back you have the battery uh, you have the battery hole there now this battery is a 3.7 volt battery a uh, 3.7 volt battery with a thousand milliamp hour so that should give you about 10 to 11 minutes of flight after an hour and a half to two hours charge it's charged by a via micro usb directly in the side once it has charged just click it in there is only one way it goes in you've got to be quite oh this is look at that that's quite a lot of movement in the back of the battery there so you've got to line it up and be quite exact with it but it's not really looking like it's going in that easily Oh, that. Right, that doesn't go in easily at all. It's got a very definite click on it, which is exactly what you want to ensure it doesn't fall out when you are flying. But as for it going in, it literally is very difficult to get in. Click and hold on the power button and then everything comes to life. Green LEDs to the front, red LEDs to the back. Uh, the red and green aren't very bright, so I wouldn't imagine you'd be able to see them at distance. But the white LEDs at the front are quite piercing, so therefore you should be able to see it at quite a bit of distance there. Now to get this battery out, you've just got to push down on the little thumbprint and then that just pops out as simple as that. As we're on the underside, we've got the standard aeration holes around the underside here of the bottom of the quadcopter, just to allow the electronics as well as the battery to breathe as it's going through the air. Now, there looks like there is a slit in here, but that, let me just look in the light, there's no SD card writer on there at all. No, nothing, no SD card writer there, so everything just goes directly onto your phone via the app. And then, likewise, we get through to the bottom, there's no optical flow sensor, we just have the little camera that we spoke about right at the start. Now, as I say, it is quite light, it does feel really quite, uh, the plastic does really feel quite thin, but how much does it weigh? Is it under the 250 gram mark? This is going to be the flying weight, so this is going to be the weight with the battery in here, everything that you need to get you airborne. I personally think this is going to be under 250, but we'll soon see. 164 grams, so we are under the 250 gram limit there, so therefore you don't have to register it if registration is needed in your part of the country or your part of the world. So, that's what it looks like. Looks quite nice, looks quite striking. Very standard shape, but we know this shape works very, very well. It's easy to transport, it's easy to use. All in all, I think that might be quite good. Okay, let's put that to one side and we'll actually see what that's like in the next couple of days when we come to fly it. 
Now let's move on to the transmitter, and this has got to be probably one of my least favourite transmitter shapes, but at least there is one thing we do know about this, is that it's just going to work. So, very nicely on this particular transmitter, it is badged up as FQ777, it doesn't just say drone on it. Uh, another thing I like about it is that we do have all, by the look of it, yeah, all the buttons are mapped out there, just so you can see exactly what they do. So, starting off at the front, we've got headless mode. And then we've got one key return, we've got gyro calibration and emergency stop, as well as fine tuning. And right over on the left hand side, we've got take off and land right there. We've got a standard left and right analog sticks. This quadcopter has got a barometer, so therefore it has got altitude hold, as you can see from the left analog stick, just springing back into the center there. These antennas, these antennas are fake. There is no, I don't know if you, how well you can see this, but if you were to look there, there's no cable running up through the inside of these antenna so they are fake the antenna is is totally internal also on the sides we've got speed switch as well as 360 flip and we've got two buttons at the back as well which do click but they're not marked so i'll double check to see if they do anything or if they are just dead buttons on this i imagine they might be dead buttons because every other button is quite nicely marked apart from these two on the on on the rear shoulder on and off button in the middle once you have batteries in here and turn it on you'll have a little led in the top right corner here uh, and that should flash until you automatically until you bind one up and one down and then that led will turn into a solid red light as for the batteries what do you need well as we're getting into that let's have a quick little look at this accessory pack because in here we have a screwdriver to get access to the battery bay as well as four propellers nice long micro usb cable and we've also got these little nodules for the top of the propellers should you lose them or should they snap when you take them off to replace the propellers there that's quite nice because you rarely you rarely get those and i often think to myself you can often buy them separately like for bayang toys or something like that i bought a few separately for the x21 but um yeah i i it is quite nice that you have them for free in there as well as also another thing that just fell out all over the place there are some screws in here as well for the propellers just be careful there because they are they will fall all over the place like it just did with me so once you unscrew this this should reveal double a batteries perhaps yep three double a batteries which are needed in the back of here in order to power this transmitter this transmitter does not allow usb charging of any sort so therefore you do have to ensure that the batteries that you put in here are fully charged or shop bought Right, let me just take that screw out totally. I don't like those. Not if it's got a good working clip. And this has definitely got a good working clip. One final thing to say about the transmitter, and that is directly underneath here. You've got two little thumb prints here, two little nail, nail prints. You get your nails in there. That's where your phone goes. It's very DJI-esque, so it just sits on the underside there. This app. Now, in order to use your phone, you have to download the app. The app itself... You have full information in the, with this user guide as well as your QR codes for iOS and Android as well as exactly how to use this app. We've seen this app before, therefore I'm not going to run through it now. Uh, this app is, a, is the standard HT app and we've seen it plenty of times in the past. The instruction manual you also get with it is actually pretty good. It's not too bad. It does go into how to charge and charge um, what the charge is, how to charge your quadcopter as well as what all the important parts do as well as how to control and basic troubleshooting there as well with some solutions. So, all in all, I think this is going to be okay. Now, I've got a couple of concerns around, you know, very standard concerns around the Wi-Fi relay, uh, sorry, the FPV relay. Uh, but I think, all in all, I think the flight might be quite good, but it is very light, so we are gonna we, ha we are gonna have to wait for the wind outside to die down before I take this beauty out. So there we are, my friends. Inside this packaging, what do you get? Well, you get your manual, you get your quadcopter, you get your transmitter, you get your accessory bag, and also you get your uh, propeller guards there, which if you are interested to put them in, they just slot into these slits here quite easily. And likewise, when you want to take them out, you've got a little release catch on the top here. Very, very simple. Should you want to use them, uh, then you can just pop them in and remove them. Very, very simple indeed. So there we are, my friends. I hope, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.